teaching can only be effective if we are ready to bring in variety in our classrooms where we encourage students to develop different essential learning skills such as stress reduction focus and attention organization reading spelling handwriting vocabulary memorization memorization of abstract information memorizing math facts memorizing math concepts and formula note taking from lectures writing composition telling time counting money test preparation eliminating test anxiety test taking strategies critical thinking using inductive and deductive reasoning goal setting project management time management increasing confidence increasing motivation etc in this video i am going to discuss about hummingbird learning approach hummingbirds are able to fly forward backward side to side and even upside down a hummingbird's nimbleness allows it to navigate unlike any other bird our career are not straight path either we move side to side and we may go deep in a particular area we develop a nimble diver skill set through these ebbs and flows a hummingbird's appetite is huge in proportion they eat 77x more than the average human as a student you must have a big appetite for learning and growing in your career you must inquiry about projects that interest you outside your current responsibilities feed and nourish yourself hummingbirds are pollinators their favorite food is the sweet nectar from flowers and they bring the pollen from one flower to the next on their wings and body and needle like a beak we know that from pollination there are seeds and those seeds become the next flower for us hummingbird educators we can think of our conversations and feedback in the same process as an educator for hummingbird learning we can follow some teaching learning strategies first of all brainstorming is a very good option select any important question or topic and discuss it with the whole class try to give regular energizer with breathing exercise movement drink of water etc give students some opportunity for chanting recite rhymes song for transitions etc as a teacher try some creative use of music performing arts etc arrange notice boards and white boards as visual scaffolds add in small groups or cluster focus discussion etc make use of talk and turn dear work self reflection and try to use multiple intelligence approach follow multi sensory learning style approaches teach students to creative use of rising hands create different spaces in the classroom like story corner tabletop workspace computer workstation art junction adda like listening and sharing corner and creativity station use smart boards projectors computer tutorials android app and interactive software and websites no class needs to be boring if we keep innovating experimenting and creating safe yet stimulating spaces for learning now hummingbird lesson plan format first of all select any topic or problem and length of your discussion then select objective of your instruction and select materials like photo video map chart paper notebook color pencil highlighters etc now be prepare your class for warm up and divide students into partners groups and have them spread out across the room and finally instructions here i will discuss some instructional strategies while brainstorming discussion starts give students the opportunity to observe describe and wonder create a space for inquiry based exploration describe in details ask questions and encourage students to wonder aloud and record their ideas on the observe and record chart that is as an educator your job is to encourage student to be like a hummingbird and increase their arousal level next provide clues that focus on details here assess students background knowledge encourage them to make predictions and ask additional questions 
that is here the student's appetite will increase just like a hummingbird next ask questions that lead for further exploration for in-depth discussion make use of brainstorm ask various questions with who what where when why and how here the students will become pollinators just like a hummingbird then they will describe wonder and hypothesize as students examine a photo video charts model book note challenge them to think and act like scientists describing details writing under questions and posing hypotheses try to build their effective communication skills and help them to collect word and phrases help them to write and express finally strengthen observe and develop their thinking skills help them to think out of the box writing and note taking drawing and exploring though this hummingbird learning approach different essential skills when mastered allow student to store and recall information easily faster and more effectively learning becomes an easy naturally successful activity and confidence source this approach will definitely help children overcome the effects of various learning difficulties and disabilities now try this select any topic of your method subject and make a learning design following the hummingbird approach